everybody, it's Jennifer from Jennifer's Cross Stitch and Diamond Paintings. Um, or Diamond Paintings and Cross Stitch, sorry. I'm not with it this morning. Um, happy Friday, first of all. And yes, I know, you see it. It's new. It's my Diamond Art Club that I got as a, as a gift. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I started it last night. This is what I've done so far. Um... I was working on my who can, the cat on the bookshelf, but um, had some issues. Um, I know I said in one of my drill with me's that the popping, I had some, some popping drills and it really wasn't an issue until um, yesterday when I went to uh, <clears throat> move the canvas and anyway, I was rolling it to keep it from just rolling it to keep it rolled up so that it didn't get, you know. And as I was rolling it, some of the diamonds came off on my hand. So I was like, you're kidding me, right? After all of this. So I you know, replace them, put them back on. Then I went ahead and I said, well, I'm just going to roll it with the rolling pin and see what happens. Mm, nah, they came off on the rolling pin also. I was getting frustrated. So I thought, well, I'll try to see what happens. Let me see what happens when I, you know, work on the next section. And it just, it was a lost cause. And I, I'm really disappointed and frustrated because that was one of my favorite diamond paintings that I wanted to complete. So it was kind of like, okay, this sucks. So I decided to go ahead and start my diamond art club. Yes, I've kitted it up. You guys can see it back here. It's not in, it's kind of in order and it's, I'm going to have to come up with a better system this week to figure that out. I mean, either that or get another Craftmate lockables. So, anyway, um, I don't know. I know that most of you that do Diamond Art Club know what it looks like, but it's the Shepherd's Cottage. And it is 73 by 55. So, I'm really, this is big. This is huge, but that's okay. So, I am... Starting on the next symbol, and it's a lot, it's bright colors, and I really, yeah, I kind of am glad I started it, because, yeah, I kind of needed a break with all the dark browns and dark blues and all that, but I was trying to wait, but I said, I was trying to wait to see, giving the who can the benefit of the doubt, trying to see, you know, hoping I could get through with it. And if it comes down to it, I may work on it, you know, off camera <coughs> or something. But I took a break because it is just frustrating. So I decided to start this. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, like I said, I like the bright colors. So that was, and I'm not a person that likes bright colors. I usually like neutral colors and stuff like that. So, but this was a welcome change. It's really, really pretty. And I think it's going to be really pretty when it's done. So, but yeah, I was excited about starting it and I know, I know. Some of you are thinking, yeah, you just wanted to start it. So you just, you know. No. I didn't. I was really frustrated. And, I mean, truthfully, this is some of the drills that fell off the who can. And I was very, very, and of course there's some squares in there from something else. But it was just, it was frustrating. And... I almost wanted to cry, but I said, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to cry. And I didn't. 
because it wouldn't have been there wouldn't have been any sense to it so anyhow so let's see what has been going on this week um not a whole lot really I did have an issue with uh, those of you that remember my story about Amazon and um, the uh, whole um, refund debacle. Finally, they gave me my refund. Now, I didn't tell my son, my older son, Justin, that the refund came because he kept bugging me about it. And he kept asking me, you know, did the refund come? No. Well, when the refund came, I told him, no, it didn't come. Now, mind you, before this, I told him that because, you know, this $100, $75, whatever, was taken off my card from his Amazon account that he hasn't used I said this is you know my money and it, you know it I'm going to use it so he said okay so when the money came back on I went to go place a order online well after I did so the next day I check it check the credit card and I was like why is there this amount that's not the amount that was supposed to be refunded so I did there's a they have an option well, when I tried to do that option of to hear the last 10 transactions, it wouldn't let me. So I went on their website and, well, there were charges that I, again, didn't know what it was for. So I called the bank. Now, mind you, my son was at school, so he didn't know anything about this or about me calling. So, I figured out where they came from. And two of them came, went towards Xbox. So, I thought, okay. So, I tried to call them. Calling them and trying to get an actual person is impossible. And when I finally got an actual person, they told me basically they couldn't refund it. And I said, well, you guys have refunded this, you know, stuff like this. This has happened to me before. You guys have done this before for me. And, well, he... The representative didn't want to hear it. I said, I said, okay, you know what? I'm just not even, whatever. I'm just not going to fight you about it because it just doesn't make any sense to fight you about it. So when Justin got home, I asked him, I said, dude, what? What are these charges for? And what did you buy for $19.99 from Xbox? And he says, nothing. I said, really? And I showed him the charges. And I said, what is this game? Oh. Well, the add-on, I didn't think the add-on was going to cost me anything. Dude. You did, you downloaded two add-ons. All together for $40. And you, I said, how did you even know that the refund was here? I didn't. Okay, well then you obviously had to know that the refund was here. So, I grounded him. And 
now he thinks he's a bad person and you know and I told him I said you're not a bad person I said but you didn't ask for my permission and you know I understand you know you want stuff too just like everybody else and I get it and I said and it hurts my feelings when I can't do stuff for you like that and I said but you know you can't just go behind my back and do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it because it doesn't work that way so he went on to Xbox and refunded um, one of the 1999 charges and because the other one it could for some reason a for some I'm not sure why and I even watched him when he did it and he did try to refund the second $20 charge he wouldn't do it so then I said well what is this thing for $6.95 oh now I don't watch anime at all whatsoever I have no problem with anime trust me it's just not my thing and uh but you know, that's one of his things that he likes to watch and um he said it's something online okay well what is it it's like a um it's like um hulu and stuff like that and I said, okay, well, why would you? I didn't. Or I did, but it wasn't. It was just supposed to be a free trial. And then after the free trial, you know. And I said, well, when did you sign up for this? A long time ago. Okay. Did you cancel your membership? A long time ago. Okay. So, I called those people. I had the number. Yeah. How can you call and talk to somebody who doesn't speak English? I'm still trying to figure that out. And they gave me an option for English or I don't even know what. The, I think it was Chinese Japanese, I don't know, but, and gave me the option if I wanted English, you know, so I opted to have someone to talk, to, to be able to talk to somebody that spoke English. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was interesting. Let me tell you, trying to talk to somebody that obviously, uh, yeah, okay. So that was a bust in itself. There was no way. So, and he still, you know, had this little, whatever you call it, you know, I'm a bad person. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just stupid. I just, you know, whatever. And I said, it's not that, son. You just do things that are stupid and dumb. I said, you're not a dumb person. I said, you are the smartest person I know. And I said, you just have to, like, ask my permission for things before you do that. And he was like, okay. And he just felt bad about it afterwards. And I told him, I said, you don't need to feel bad about it. I said, but, you know, when I tell you that, you know, this, this money is already, like, allotted for something I said I still don't know how you knew that the money was on the card and or that the money had been refunded and I I think I know what he did and I think he <laughs> and he's sneaky sometimes and I think he took my uh, card into my room or into his room and called the number on the back of the card to find out. But it's 
whatever. I mean, he just, and I told him, I said, next time, I said, you come and ask me. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you say so. So he's just kind of. <sighs> then he turns around and misses the bus yesterday. Okay. This time it really wasn't. It was and wasn't his fault. He had gone to the office to get something and a form that he needed filled out, which apparently he, this is not the first time that he's done this. And I said, dude, how do you miss the bus? How in the world do you miss the bus so many darn times that you just, I, I don't get it. I wasn't trying to. Okay. So, anyway, he called my mother. And my mother came and picked him up. And he came home, and I just, I just, he looked at, he walked in, and I just looked at him, and I just started laughing. What? It's not funny. Uh, yeah, it is. And he's like, well, I wasn't trying to miss it, Mom. Okay. You say so. I'm just, okay. And... I mean, it was kind of funny. I mean, he just, the way he called me when, uh, the way he sounded on the phone when he called me, he's like, I wasn't trying to miss it, Mama. Okay. And he only calls me Mama when he's in trouble. Or when he thinks he's getting in trouble. Or something like that. So, when he called me Mama, I knew. And I told him, I said, dude, you can't keep missing this bus. I wasn't trying to. Okay. So, yeah. So, then I find out that I've been having my suspicions about this. And I didn't want to come out and ask Skyler, but and I just left it alone because he's been faking that he's been getting that he's been sick. So and I didn't, I didn't say anything at first, and only because. It's gotten to a point where he would make himself sick, literally. He would sit here and he would cry and cough until he made himself throw up. So, like yesterday, I got a phone call from one of his teachers in concerning something else. And I asked her, I said, uh... I said, how is he in school? She said, he's been really quiet lately. I said, okay. I said, I think there's something going on at school that he's not telling anybody. She said, I wondered if there was something wrong. She said, I was going to call you and ask you about it because I didn't know if something had changed at home or if something else was going on and I said well and I explained to her you know my 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 assumptions and she says I wondered if that's what he was doing and I said well I said Monday he just didn't want to go to school and he got upset with me because I made him go to school and I said, Tuesday when he found out that we didn't, or Monday night when he found out that we didn't have school on Tuesday due to weather or due to the snow fart storm, whatever you want to call it, that we had, he uh, looks at me and he says, oh, thank God, Mom, I don't have to go. Okay, that's not like you because you usually want to go. You, he, I mean, this child, I'm no lie, I'm serious. 
from the day that he started going to school, yeah, he's one of the ones that has been wanting to go to school. He get used, would get up, go to school. I wouldn't have a problem. Now, all of a sudden, in the last couple years, he's done this. And because of it, he's missed so much time. And every time I, you know, I go through the same process, he gets picked on. So, I told his teacher and his math teacher, and they said that they would both talk to him. So this morning, his teacher texted me, and she said, we found out who it was. The child is, has been um, sent to the office and is writing an apology to Skylar and I think there was another thing. I can't remember exact. I think he was going to lose like recess for like two days or something. I, I don't remember. I didn't ask. I didn't go there. And I told her, I said, thank you. And I said, and, you know, I told her, I said, if you don't mind, you know, having him have someone to talk to about it because I guess it really bothers him. I mean, he, you know, I mean, you guys seen little dude and you see how short he is. And he gets picked on because of that. And I told him last night when he was telling me, I said, son, why didn't you tell somebody? Why didn't you go and say, look, you know, tell Miss Miller, you know, tell your one of your teacher, whatever. I said, even tell Miss Rodriguez. I said, because you know Mommy and Miss Rodriguez are friends. I said, Miss Rodriguez taught your sister and taught Justin. So it's not like, you know, and he just looked at me and I said, you know, even, I said, even if you didn't tell Miss Miller and you told Miss Rodriguez, Miss Rodriguez would have just, you know, blatantly, wouldn't have been no mess, no fuss. She would have taken care of it right then and there. And he just looked at me and I said, well, you can't stay home because you're getting picked on. I get it. I've been there. I know what it's like to get picked on, get bullied. I understand. And I said, son, but your grades are really, really, you know, messing up because of it. And he says, are you mad at me? I said, no, I'm not mad at you. I said, but, you know, you need to learn to stand up for yourself. I said, no, that doesn't require hitting somebody, but you need to just learn to stand up for yourself. Tell the person to leave you alone and go tell a teacher. And he's like, but I'm scared to. And I said, why are you scared to tell a teacher? I said, are you scared of Miss Miller? Are you scared of, you know, Miss Rodriguez? No. Well, then what's the problem? And I think it's because he's so shy and quiet and he doesn't bother anybody in class. He waits until he gets home to drive everybody here insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm so crazy in the head sometimes. And um, I told him, I said, son, it doesn't, it's not going to get solved if you do that. I said, you know, if you let these kids do this to you, you know, keep picking on you. You know, they're going to think it's okay, especially when you get older and, you know, higher up in school. They're going to think, okay, well, you know, he's, I've always bullied him. I can do this and get away with it and he's not going to say anything. I said, you can't do that. I said, you have to say something. And he was like, okay. So... He makes me feel sad and it hurts my feelings when he goes to I mean, it, it hurts my heart when he goes to school like that. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's a smart boy and he's just, that's it. He's a smart boy. And I told him, I said, you know, it's okay 
to, he says, well, I don't want to be a tattletale. I said, honey, it's okay to tell when somebody's bothering you. And it's wrong. And I said, and you know that it's wrong. I said, did you know that it was wrong for them to pick on you like that? Yes. Well, why didn't you, and you know, and he's like, but I, like, again, he didn't do it because, you know, he's shy and he just didn't want to, you know, tell on somebody. And I said, honey, I said, you can't, you got to do, you can't be like that. So I think he gets it and his teacher talked to him too. So I just. And it, it, it sucks when somebody picks on him. It really does. And, you know, he he doesn't say anything. He doesn't ask for help. He's like his mommy. You know, he doesn't ask for help. And, you know, he doesn't like to go to people when he needs help. And I told him, I said, there's nothing wrong with it. I said, you know, mommy doesn't always do it either. I said, but, you know, because mommy tries to take care of things like that on her own. He said, like our situation now, and I said, yes, like our situation now. And he just kind of said, okay, I'll remember. I said, okay, that's fine. I said, mommy's not mad at you. And I said, but you know, you can't just keep all this in and not tell anybody. I said, because you know, it's wrong of them to pick on you because you're, you know, shorter than you know, somebody else, and, you know, it, regardless of whether or not they were teasing or what, I said, it's just not right. So, he's, I think he's okay about it now, but I can see that I'm going to have to, you know, give him a pep talk every morning just to get him to get up and go, and... He feels and until he gets, you know, some confidence back into his body or something because poor thing. But anyway, uh, so that was the one thing, the most excitement that we've had all week. Um, as some of you know, I change. Um, gosh, my eyes hurt today. Um, this weather is like stupid. Um, the other thing, I did change my nails. I don't know if you guys can see the color. And I feel bad if you can't. This one does not go with the set. Yvonne English sent me some Color Street um, nail strips. And I had um, one that wouldn't stick to my finger. It just kept coming unsticky on you know kept coming off the finger so I grabbed one that I had from something else and put it there and same thing with this one so I mean it kind of looks cool that way I just think it's kind of weird but yeah and I also had ordered um Sally Hansen nail strips as a backup because I am going to order some color straight nails um, next month. And also, um, that's another thing too, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so I'm still waiting for those. I got them. <laughs> You're going to laugh when I tell you what it says. I ordered them from Amazon and I forget how many were in there, but anyway, I ordered them from Amazon and they were supposed to be delivered Tuesday the 20th what's today uh, uh I can't remember what today is <laughs> anyway they were supposed to be delivered on the 20th so they didn't show up so I went back on to my Amazon app and it said that they were trying to get my package back on track and they are working on getting my package to me. And I was like, what the heck does that mean? So I clicked on it. And it... I, 
I get, I'm assuming, I'm not sure why, but I don't get it. I won't get them until between now and Tuesday. So I was like, are you kidding me? Really? That's crazy. So <laughs> thank goodness I don't have to change these for two more weeks. But it was just, it was, I just sat here and laughed because I was like, okay, that's a first. That is the first thing in anything that I've ever ordered from Amazon. Yes, I've put Amazon down about, you know, some of their policies, but some of their products are worth it. And, you know, I probably will keep ordering the, from them, but yeah. So, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, this is the first thing. This is the first in all of you know the years that I've ordered from Amazon that I've ever gotten a message like that. So it was just kind of funny because I was like, wow, okay, um, okay. <laughs> so I'm waiting for them to come. But um, as for, I mean, I'm still gonna use Color Street. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean. I like both. I mean, I haven't really tried the Sally Hansen one yet because that's what I was going to do. So, and I watched uh, Stitcherista's video this morning about the Sally Hansen and Color Street. And, you know, everybody has an opinion. And I, I mean, I'm going to try both of them for myself and see. But, um, <clears throat> I, uh, Because there may be some designs that Sally Hansen has that doesn't that Color Street doesn't have. But anyway, I am thinking about signing, joining, or signing up with Color Street as a consultant. Um, I've thought long and hard about this, and. At first I said, no, I'm not going to. Then I, it's kind of, I went back and forth. So I'm trying, of course you hear my stomach, I'm sorry. I haven't had my breakfast yet this morning. And it's kind of like, do I want to? No. Yes. So I've been really, really thinking about it. So I think um, that I do, I probably will. I probably won't do it until um, Skylar's dad gives me my part of the income tax refund. I haven't really decided yet. So that's just, you know, other options that I've that's one option or one thing I have been trying to decide I mean I don't have I don't have a way I don't go out very much so I wouldn't use the catalogs to give people I mean I may be a couple people that I would give it to and um, but I don't go out, so I probably depend more on, you know, the website and however else they would do it. So, that was my, I don't, I think I told you all that I was trying to make a couple of life decisions and that was one of them. So, it's going to be, I mean, believe me, you'll know when I do make the decision or when I actually, you know, decide, okay, well, I'm going to do it, blah, 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 just get, do it and get it over with. Because, um, because if I do it, it'll be, you know, in the next couple of weeks to, you know, a month or whatever. So, and I'm kind of nervous because I've never been good at those kinds of things. I've tried everything. I've tried Mary Kay. I've tried, you know, 31 bags. Um, there's so many things that I've tried and it seems like, I, I guess it's me. I guess because I'm such a shy person. I don't know. 
So we're going to see. But we never know. Um, back to the diamond painting. As you guys can see, I wasn't going, the, the parchment paper that I was going to use was not parchment paper. I ended up following what, um, going, well not going, but I ended up taking, I was trying to figure out where to get parchment paper from. And Abra, Dexter, and I forget who else told me, had told me about um, these Reynolds, uh, whoops, you can't see them, about these Reynolds baking, cookie baking sheets, pre-cut parchment paper. And I went to Walmart yesterday, um, with my son Justin's gift card that he gave me to make up for what he did with the 20 some dollars and I bought three of them and I ha I'm gonna today sit down and cut them but they come in sheets like this Oops. this is how big this sheet is I don't know if you guys can see that. There's one in, there's the other. And you can cut it. There's dotted lines on it that you can cut it. Now, I cut mine a little too big. So I think um, I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know what size, you know. I just cut them just, I may, I mean, I could probably cut them too big. Who knows? But for me, just trying it this time, you know, I mean, these are reusable. Thank goodness you can use them again and again and again. So, which is fine. So, I just bought, you know, some so that I could even. And that was another reason why I got frustrated with my hookah because I started putting them, putting those the parchment paper on that on the who can and as that's how I noticed that the drills were popping so but I, I'm and believe me I will be ordering another diamond up club I'm really really Oh my gosh. I'm sold. I'm addicted now. All the enablers. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I like it so far. I mean, like I said, I'm not used to bright colors. I mean, you know, I'm not a very, you know, I'm, I don't like bright colors like, you know, this. And, you know, I just. I'm one of those ones that likes neutral colors, but this is pretty, and it's going to be pretty. So, so I can't wait to see when it's finished. <clears throat> so, um, trying to think, what else is going on around here? Um, I can't think. Oh, I did want. I know. I know you guys got to meet Miranda. Um, do you guys want to meet my other daughter? Uh, I did talk to her about this yesterday, I think, and she was all for it. And I told her, I said, well, we need to figure out, you know, if we can record, you know, on Skype or whatever. And... You know, we can do that and, you know, I can get you guys to send questions in or whatever and do do it that way. And she was, you know, she's all for it. So I'm trying, I don't know when we're going to do the, the draw with me because I don't think I can record um, Facebook. 
I'm not sure. I don't think I can record on Messenger. I'll have to find out. If anybody knows, please comment below and let me know because I'm not sure about that. I want to make sure before I put my foot in my mouth. Um, I will give you fair warning if we do it through, if there is a way to do it through Facebook, her end of the video call will be kind of funky looking, but you'll get to see her. I think it's, I, she said it's because of her, um, internet that it's like that sometimes, but, um, I mean, you've met little dude. You met Miranda, and if you guys, you know, are interested in, you know, having, you know, interview and, you know, meeting my other daughter, you know, she said she was all for it. So, um, so I have to figure out which Google Hangouts or, you know, one of those we will, we can record on. I'm not sure. I know a couple people have done that. She thought we could do it right on YouTube. But I don't think it will allow me. I'm not sure. I don't think so. She thought, you know, we could do a live stream together. But I don't think there's a way to do that. I'm not absolutely sure. Um, at least, not that I know of. So, once that's set up, I will let you know. I'm not sure when it's going to be, just because um, she is really busy um, working classes. Um, she's going to school to be a nurse, for nursing. So, she's kind of, you know, I think it's like two or three, four, two or three nights a week. I can't remember what she told me. So that's, you know, that she said, you know, even if it's on a weekend, like this weekend she's off, but I told her, you know, let's plan it. And, you know, we pick a certain date, day, whatever. And we figure out exactly which, you know, which app or whatever we can record with. So I'm going to look into that and find out because... And she said she would too, so. Oh my, I'm sorry. I'm like, I, I'm getting a thro frog in my throat and yeah, I'm really thirsty. So, anyway. And I keep waiting for my diamond pen. From Rachel. Rachel, I haven't gotten it yet, but that doesn't mean that it's not coming. I don't know what's going on. I think the, I don't know if the postal, if the, <laughs> if the United States Postal Service is being lazy or if they're being slow. I don't know what's going on. This is like, you know, crazy. I just don't get it. So... I hope it comes soon because this poor pen I mean I like this pen but it doesn't you know how you can just go and stab it not stab but you can go like with this pen and just put and just put it in the wax and you know come out and it's in there this pen doesn't do that I don't know why. And I have, I don't know, I, I'm just, and then the other one that, that, that came with this one, it's crooked, but I don't know if it's made that way. I can't tell. I don't know if this one's the same way. Huh? Maybe not. Oh, no. This one's crooked. So I got to figure out how to fix this one. And I was going to use my fat pen, as somebody asked me the other day, what called it the other day. 
but the uh, metal piece on it, the um, that, the clip, the metal clip on it, this thing, it uh, it hurts my finger when I'm using it. So I don't know if there's a way that I can take it off. You know, unscrew it and take it off. I don't know. I'll. I'm afraid to find out. So, and I just, you know, I just can't wait for my pen. So, yeah, I'm excited about getting my pen. It's, I think it's pink. I can't remember. I can't remember Rachel what color it is. So, um, but I did also want to say, today is Rachel Ray's birthday. Rachel, happy birthday. I probably said it to you on Facebook, but still, I wanted to tell you happy birthday anyway. Um, that's it, guys. So, I'm going to get off of here, but yeah. So this is what I've done so far in my Diamond Art Club, and I hope you all have a good weekend. Any questions, comments, please, you know, post them below. And I will see you guys tomorrow at my live at 1 p.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend.